The boxers headed for every triad leader that were left on their list. They got to the six remaining dragon heads, Noodle Lips Shu, Big Smile Shu, Frank Ma, Orange Lee, and Curly Haired Zhu. But they were waiting for them because Eileen told them all about the coming attack while she was in Taiwan. She also brought some tea on her way from there. They suspect Bruce told them, but it doesn't matter now because they have taken out the boxers while currying favor with the heads. And now they're all coming to LA to elect a new dragon head. But there hasn't been one since the last one died 20 years ago. And Eileen wants to become the head. Bruce doesn't want this, but she is done living in the shadows and already has the support of a lot of the others. She also wants the support of Charles, and he gives her his hand. Charles and Eileen are organizing sitting arrangements for the ghosts that are coming, and TK wants Bruce to put it to good work for him with his family when they become all powerful. But Bruce points out just how terrible TK has been across this whole time with being a gangster and kicks him out of the house. Eileen knows he did this to protect TK. Charles floats the idea of maybe staying in LA with Bruce, and Eileen also agrees. She even tells him to open a bakery here to launder the money. The lights then go out. Everyone is alert, but they calm down when Charles sees it's his friends from Taiwan, Lance, Justin, and JC, the Wong brothers. They were ordered to come. It was Big Sun who's out of the hospital and clearly alive and kicking. He tells them that he's been getting information about everyone from Xing. He even gives her a watch for being loyal and a necklace for his wife. He hugs Bruce, but the room is very tense. He gives Bruce a Lamborghini and they go for a ride, but Bruce can't get the car moving. Alexis is in her office and her boss Eric confronts her about not getting Charles arrested when he had told her specifically to do so. She convinces him to wait because the bigger players are headed to LA. The boys are getting fitted for suits with their mom and dad. Big Sun is supposedly proud of the work Eileen did while he was gone, except the part where she becomes the dragon head. She stands firm and calls Big Sun old and with tired ideas, but he thinks neither should be dragon head. He wants Charles to get the position. Charles I.S. stuck between the two, not knowing what to do, but he sides with his father. Big Sun wants Bruce to come along with them to Taiwan. The Wongs were watching an action movie and made fun of Bruce for not knowing the movie. Even after Charles walks in, they keep going until Bruce steps up for himself and insults Justin. Charles finds Eileen and they talk about being the dragon head. Bruce confirms that Charles doesn't want to be the dragon head. Bruce begs them to walk away, but Charles tells him there is no other choice and walks away from the conversation. Eileen tells Bruce that she was the one responsible for this. She even told him the names because she knew he would give them up. He tries to get her to stop, but her mind is made up. Eileen is on the phone trying to get her votes, but Big Sun is there too, gloat about winning over her, saying he's always a step ahead of her. He keeps talking until she admits to losing and asks to get her hair done, and he agrees. Bruce meets with Grace and tells her about the meeting, and he'll give her the location of the meeting if she takes out everyone except his family. She doesn't want to do that, and he agrees because he knows Eileen won't be there, and Charles can take care of himself. At the police office, Alexis has the whole government agencies in one room, waiting for the triad meeting to happen. They want results, and she is confident in her knowledge of the triad that the meeting will happen at 8 o'clock. Charles gets his jacket, and Bruce tells him good luck. Charles tells him things are going to be easier from now on and walks out. The whole gang moves out with Big Sun. The cops are watching their move, but Charles left his phone at the hotel. They arrive at the meeting spot, a restaurant, and every leader is here as they greet each other while the food is prepared. The clock strikes eight and Big Sun sends Xing to get Charles. The food is here and they all enjoy each course. The cops are tired of waiting for the dot to move and they give up, but then Bruce grabs the jacket with Charles' phone and gets Jade. He tells her that he told Grace about the meeting and she agrees to go save Charles and she wants to kill Grace along the way. TK stops them unless they take him along and Bruce wants to protect him, but he is too adamant, so Bruce agrees to bring him along. The meeting has started and Bruce also makes it there. Charles sees them and warns them to leave right now. He gets back and the voting commences. There were no objections until Eileen walked in with her new haircut and they want to give her a chance to speak. She tells them that Charles is only a soldier and doesn't have the ability to lead such a complicated organization. The police arrive at the restaurant. Jade feels they need to get them out as soon as possible. The boxers are also here and one sets up a bomb underneath the cake cart. The cake comes in as Frank Marr is talking and Bruce rushes in to take the cart away. Everyone is confused until he runs back and tells them about the bomb and everyone gets out their guns as the SWAT move in. In the commotion, Grace manages to stab Big Sun in the chest and a big fight ensues. 
Steve was about to shoot Eileen when Bruce tells Shing that he killed Blood Boots, and she heads right for him and brutally kills him. Bruce and Eileen escape together, as Charles is left to fend for himself and protect his father in the mess, but they manage to escape too. Jade also managed to get her revenge for her sister and killed Grace. Bruce and Eileen get caught until TK tackles the agent, letting them escape. Back home, Big Son is mad beyond belief. He thinks that Eileen sold them out and wants her punished. He tells Charles to do it, but Charles doesn't want to kill his mother, but Big Son wants something worse. For Charles to kill Bruce, Alexis is interviewing Frank Ma, who's locked up. He bores her with his stories and tells her he'll testify against anyone if she sets him free, and guarantees him a safe passage back to Taiwan, but only under one more condition. They catch or kill Big Son. Eileen and Bruce are in a cheap motel. He thinks they should call Charles or his dad, and she assured him that after what he did, no one will help them. Eileen is very upset at him for ruining her plan. She wanted everything she worked hard for, and he ruined it for her. Charles barges in and chokes out Bruce screaming, why? He betrayed them, but Charles still couldn't kill his brother. They still can't figure out how the cops knew about the meeting, but Charles feels trapped because he can't kill Bruce or go back to his father. Bruce only sees one way out, to kill Big Son. Eileen tells Charles that Big Son only used him for being an elite loyal soldier. The chair leg incident was just a test, and Eileen couldn't save him. Charles is hurt, but Cruz convinces him to choose between them and his dad. But when he got his phone back, Charles realized that the cops were tracking them with it. Charles drives over to the house and sits down with his dad, but his dad is still thinking about gaining more power. Charles tells him he didn't kill Bruce, and he doesn't want to go back to Taiwan, and he wants a different life. But Big Son calls him weak for wanting to be a baker, and he should have never left for LA. Then he tells him that he'll send Shing and the Wongs to kill Bruce. But Charles shoots the Wongs and chases after Shing, but he can't catch her. And when he shot at the car, cops caught him. Charles is broken up in the interrogation room when Alexis comes in. He asks her to let him go, but she, I'll only do it if he tells her where to find Big Son. He tells her that Bruce and Eileen are in danger, and he has to go to save them. He even begs her to let him go, but she says no. Eileen is making food when Xing walks in the room. Eileen tries to fight Xing, but Xing is just too strong, until Eileen manages to get a phone cord around her neck and kills her with it. Bruce comes in and calms her down. He talks on the phone and meets Alexis. She tells him how much Charles cares about his family. Alexis turns off the camera as Bruce walks in the room. He tells him about Eileen being safe and that Shing didn't kill them. He asks him to tell Alexis where to find Big Sun, but Bruce wants to know because he wants to go and kill Big Sun himself. He tells Charles that this is the only way they can truly be safe. He's doing this to protect the family. Bruce hugs his brother one last time before he leaves the interrogation room. Alexis is waiting for the information and he just simply tells her that sons don't work with cops. Big Sun is reading alone when Bruce walks in the house. Bruce isn't sure and Big Sun tells him to call him Baba, the Chinese way. He tells him about Xing being killed by Eileen. Then Bruce pulls out a gun. This amuses Big Sun. Bruce's hand is shaking, and he doesn't understand the Mandarin Big Sun is speaking. Big Sun thought that Bruce was always going to be a disappointment, and now sees that Bruce has balls. He even invites him to come along to Taiwan and take Charles' place. He tells Bruce that he has potential, and he'll be feared there until he shoots him in the gut, and Big Son is disappointed that he can't even kill people right. But that was on purpose. Bruce made sure to miss any vital organs because he doesn't want to kill him. He just wants Big Son to leave the family alone, and he'll let him call the ambulance. So he walks away. Alexis is watching Charles as she eats. Mark comes by and tells her that Big Son is in the hospital having surgery, and he can't get away now. So she lets Charles go, and Alexis is in front of the press talking herself up. The family is at home making food, and TK is getting a tattoo from Jade. Bruce ruins the food, so Eileen takes it from him. Then she tells him she's going to Taiwan to lead the Red Dragons, lead them in a way she wants, to do what she wants. And Bruce gets it and hugs her. At the hospital, Eileen is the nurse of Big Son, but she isn't going to kill him either. She's just forging the papers into fooling the hospital that he's a diabetic, making him weak through the insulin. Charles gets his bakery, and Bruce goes back to school. Eileen says goodbye to her mahjong club and tells Charles he can now do what he wants and stay in LA. Eileen says goodbye to Bruce at the airport and gets on the plane. Charles is there with a box of churros for Bruce because Charles is going back to Taiwan with Eileen. So they get on the plane together. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.